guys welcome back to part two of the travel vlogs i actually just got out of bed i still need to like brush my teeth and wash my face and everything but i'm about to get up and just get ready to grab some breakfast at the hotel i'm gonna check if maybe i can just get room service but today's my birthday so i turned 23 today I think I'm gonna have to go down and get breakfast, but that's okay. Yeah, it's a new day out here in Barcelona. So I'm gonna take you through what I want to do today. Um, originally, I was gonna go shopping today, but I actually just really wanna focus on the fact that it's my birthday and I wanna manifest. I wanna just do a lot of writing, maybe some journaling. Maybe I'll read a book. Um, you know, I brought some things with me, so I really wanna kind of just disconnect and relax today. I wanna to shoot a little bit of content before I relax for the day. And then I think I'm gonna sit at the beach depending on how busy it is, because if it's too busy, I might feel a bit anxious. If it's too busy at the beach, I will just sit at the rooftop. But I want to write out my manifestations for basically 2023, like next year, August 12. And I also have been trying to I guess heal from some situations that have happened in the past year and i thought it would be good to kind of write some goodbye letters to people and situations and yeah i want to kind of focus on that today i don't know let's get closer to me um i think this is the best time to do it because there's no one bothering me and i can do whatever i want today so then tonight i'm gonna have dinner at the hotel i made reservations I'm having a solo dinner which <sighs> I've never done that before. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna be. <laughs> um, but yeah, weather is gonna be super nice today. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up my outfit and put in some contacts. I can't see shit right now. I don't know what I look like. Also, I so last night I kind of fell asleep on my back and I never sleep on my back. And I woke up like two hours later soaked in sweat. Like I don't know what the fuck was going on. I woke up, I was like soaking wet and I was like, wow, like, I think it's because of my hormones because I'm supposed to get my period one of these days. I think it's, well, it was meant to come to yesterday, but it might come today. I was like, what the hell is going on? I literally had to get out of bed, open up my bed sheet so it could like kind of dry. Anyways, that happened. It's not even really an outfit for today. It's mostly just, I guess, for breakfast. I will also shoot in this outfit, so I want it to be cute. I think I'm gonna wear this top from Urban Outfitters with this little skirt from IMG, I think. Or should I do? Let me throw that on real quick. Okay, I actually really, really like this outfit. The back is also really cute. Oh, this is not in the middle. Let me put in the middle bags. Yeah, I like this a lot. I don't know where my hair tie went. because it, it keeps bleeping because it needs to be charged and it's so fucking annoying like i woke up multiple times last night because of the beeping bleeping beeping whatever <laughs> I'm back from breakfast i ended up just facetiming my mom while i was eating um so i didn't really vlog anything besides some of the food i, I grabbed like the most random food i always do that at like hotel buffets like i'm just going to lay down my baby hairs i think this would be cute for like my birthday post to post tonight so i already kind of found a spot so i'm gonna walk there i kind of want like the water and like the 
sky to be in the back basically like the view in front of my hotel or in front of my room right here i want to spend all day taking pictures you know but i just want to get a few and i feel too awkward to go to the rooftop like try to take a picture that it's so uncomfortable see if i was with someone else i would do it because then they would obviously take the picture for me but i can't i fucking can't switched my hair to a side part when i went to bed i just put it like this with my bonnet on so that it would stay flat do some brow gel a little bit of cream blush oh just dip my hair in the sink <clears throat> oh this is not cream blush babes yeah right here but it's literally so shit like you can turn it on and watch <laughs> that doesn't even do anything i wish i had better lighting but it's doing my favorite lip combo. I've shared this in my makeup, everyday makeup video. Ah, it's just so good. And it's nice because it doesn't really transfer. So I went to breakfast and then she would like check my room and stuff. And then she was like, oh, happy birthday. It's your birthday. She was like, just a breakfast just for you. I was like, yeah, just me. Just me, myself and I. Okay. Outfit is cute. Outfit is ready. So I want to come down here somewhere. Either I can do it by the palm trees or I could do like by the water. But I feel like the sun's over there. So I think it might be better to do it by the palm trees or something. Let's give it a try. Guys, look how beautiful it's up here. Look at the water. Like that's sick. I think it's going to be backlit. But wow. That's so beautiful. by the beds right now and i think the sun's actually gonna go away while i'm here like it's gonna be behind the building but i don't really mind because it's actually really hot and i would still sit out here without sun as well so yeah i'm just gonna be reading a book i brought this book with me and um i've had it for a while but just haven't started reading so i'm gonna give it a try see how i like it i also bought my ipad so in a few hours i'm gonna get on my ipad and Start with my manifestations. Oh, oh god, I spilled it on myself. <laughs> mm. I can't do this shit. I can't do this shit. I'm back in my room. Um, I wanted to stay, honestly. It's only three, but my phone was dying and my iPad was dying and I didn't bring a charger. I was like, let me just go back to the room. I'll charge my stuff and I'll just chill here for a little bit until I wrap dinner. I think I'm gonna order some room service as well. I was just working on writing down my manifestations and I wanted to sit down and kind of take you through how I am doing it now. Usually when I'm manifesting, I like to do it visually because I'm a very visual person. I don't always like write it down or i do a lot of manifesting in my head i feel like i don't think there's like a rule to how you should manifest in my opinion because at the end of the day you need to believe in it but for today specifically i really wanted to make like a journal entry and just write out all my thoughts and like just specific parts of my life or subjects that i just want to write about so the way i'm doing it is i'll just have like little sections of whatever i'm talking about let's say like love life right i'll have like my love life and then i'll write down kind of how i'm feeling now what my life is like now what my thoughts are how i feel about everything and then i just write down like august 12 2023 and the way that i do it is like i don't write down like i want to be this or i want to do this i basically write it as if it's happening already or as if it's basically set in stone that that's what's going on in a year from now so i will write down like on that date i will have met love of my life i don't really like writing down what i want that person to look like because at the end of the day like i that's not really what i care about and i feel like it's too specific for me personally especially because i'm also not attracted to just one gender like it could be literally anyone but i prefer to kind of write down 
what this person is like and like how they treat me and how they behave and their like personality and stuff like that that's kind of how i'm doing it right now i haven't finished because like i said my ipad was dying so i'm actually going to continue that in a little bit i just want to relax i kind of have a headache but i think i just need to eat something in a year from now i'm gonna read it back like i'm not gonna look at this i'm gonna save it somewhere and then look at it a year from now and then i will be able to tell like what came true and what happened um and it's also just a nice way to get myself motivated i've said this before but whenever i don't have any goals or things to like work towards i always feel very lost writing down my manifestations or like the things that i want to you know be doing in a year from now is like a just a way for me to kind of feel like I have something to work towards and gives me a bit more purpose. Like I talk to myself like all the time. I never write it down. So yeah, I'm trying to get more into journaling. It's not something I've been doing aside from manifesting. I'm self-reflecting, looking at how do I feel right now. And as I'm writing it down, I'm actually processing what I'm saying, if that makes sense. Because sometimes if I'm just having thoughts or I'm talking to myself, like you don't actually think, I mean, maybe you do, but I don't actually think about what I'm saying. Like I could be saying like, oh, I feel like shit right now first of all i'm putting out the negativity but also like why do i feel like shit like i don't ask myself that question but when i'm writing it down in a journal entry i might write down like oh i feel like this and then i will also write down why i feel like that um i hope that makes any sense i don't know but i wanted to share that with you guys because i feel like um it could maybe inspire you or help you out and yeah you don't have to do this on your birthday by the way you can do this any day of the year whenever you want to do it so my view is so beautiful right now i have to show you this is just oh, like i love one of the things that i really really love is when water or when the sun hits the water and the water is like sparkling i don't know why but that always gets me this is definitely not the typical travel vlog that i would usually do because usually when i travel i show you all the things and i'm doing a lot of things obviously that's not what this trip is about i honestly feel so good why am i getting emotional oh my god i'm not gonna cry on camera ah! I just woke up from a nap and I have such a bad headache. I went to sleep with a headache. <sighs> I have dinner reservations in like 45 minutes or something. So I'm gonna get ready for it. Cleaning your ears is so nice. Well, first of all, I need fucking eye drops. My eyes are so dry right now. are so dry let me scrub my lips i have like literally it's like flaky using this crowd the reason why my lips are so dry is because i haven't had a, a laneige lip mask in forever and i had made a huge order on cold beauty like like a month ago and then the order just like never came and then i contacted them and they resent it and it was meant to arrive like why i'm here or maybe when i come back i don't know my lip is just in shambles girl i need to get dressed though Let's see. God. Oh, I have such a bad headache, man. That's not fun at all. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm gonna try both and I think I'm first gonna try on these pants from I'm Gia because I think pants will also be kind of nice. Or I'm gonna wear this maxi skirt from Naked. This cutie. I don't really know why I brought these instead of my black sandals. I should have done with all black ones and I don't think I'm gonna wear <laughs> these. I could, I mean. Okay, after trying on a million different things, this is what I put on. These boots are from Revolve, jeans are as well. This top is from Urban, and then my bag is Balenciaga. I'm just gonna do some light makeup and call it a day. These pants, I flipped them over because they're kind of big. I don't know if I wanna wear them. This is kind of cute, actually. 
where I'm gonna like little wasted. And I pop this thing on. So cute. I have such a bad headache. Putting my hair up this tight does not help, but you know what? It's whatever. I'm already sweating. Let's just throw this on actually. Okay. Okay, I prefer this outfit. Um, and now I'm not sure if I should keep my hair up or I'm gonna take it down. It's not helping with my headache. I don't know, the piercing oil's not working. I think it's just because of the heat. Maybe I haven't drank enough water, man, I don't know. I have to be downstairs in like 15 minutes, so I'm gonna do my makeup real quick. I don't know how much I'll film at dinner because I don't want it to be awkward if there's like a lot of people. Like, ugh, I will feel so uncomfortable, but I will at least film what I'm eating. This is also the first time I'm doing something publicly with heels on. Even though these are boots, like I don't wear heels ever. So that's a little scary, but luckily I'm just inside the hotel. I don't have to like walk anywhere far because that would literally freak me out. But I do want to become this girl. So to get there, I have to obviously do it. And I think these will get more comfortable when I wear them because right now they're still a little slippery. I'm wearing it with this bag. By far, cute little green outfit. Guys, <laughs> I have shit to say right now. Obviously, I went to go eat dinner by myself. And uh, at first, I was going to sit inside. And then I was like, no, actually, I actually want to sit outside. I wish I would have sat inside, guys, because ah! <laughs> too much attention that I didn't want. There was this like old guy. He was definitely at least 50, right? He was fully gray. Maybe he was in his 40s, but he looked old as fuck anyway. Like, And he was seated next to like the table next to me. I could tell that he was like trying to make eye contact to talk to me. And I was just like, oh. So then after a little while, I got up to go smoke. And as I was like walking away, he went like, whoa. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, ew, but I just acted like I didn't hear. So whatever, I go sit back down. I literally, also I ordered lobster. I don't know why I ordered lobster. I, I didn't think about the fact that I was gonna have to sit there and crack it open myself and deal with that, which was also really hard and very uncomfortable. Don't do that. So as I fucking put this big ass piece in my mouth, he starts talking to me. So I'm like, give me one second. And I can feel that I had some, some of like the shell in my mouth and I was like taking it out. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just, I just asked him where he's from just to be nice. And he was like, you're very beautiful. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. Let's end the combo there. I feel like I was not showing any interest, but men also like don't care because they will still try to get with you. So, all right. So I'm just trying to avoid eye contact with him now because I don't want to continue talking. Then this um, waitress comes up to me. She's like, oh, the guy um, in the back with the shisha is offering you a tequila shot or like he wants to buy you a tequila shot. So I look over. I have to say, it was a very beautiful man, but I'd seen him sitting there for a while. He was literally staring at me the whole time, and that just makes me so uncomfortable. And second off, a tequila shot, babe? No, thank you. Like, no. But I looked over, and he, he did look very beautiful, but he was giving me creepy vibes. So I just said no, and I'm glad I did, because the whole time I sat there, and the second time I even went to go smoke, he was staring at me the whole time with the fucking shisha thing in his mouth, and I was just like, Ugh. Felt very uncomfortable. Luckily, I finished my food and the desserts weren't anything interesting. So I decided I was done. And I went back up to my room. But um, yeah, that happened. Very uncomfortable. I honestly, besides when I was eating, I honestly sat on my phone the whole time. I even called my mom twice because like I really just didn't know what to do. But you know, this was the first time I did something like that i'm proud of myself i think if i didn't get the male attention i would have felt more comfortable i mean it's good for my ego but i just get really uncomfortable when men try to flirt with me i'm so sorry but i am going to finish my journal entry though so i'm gonna sit in the corner by the window with a pretty view as the sun is setting and then i'm gonna shower and maybe i should shower first actually tomorrow's my last full day here so i'm gonna go shopping and just like see a bit more of the city look at my baby Oh, I miss him. I took these photos today and they just look so fucking good. So I don't know when I'm going to post these, but make sure to follow my Instagram so you can give them a like. Mm -hmm.